dear friend, uh, so, so much a congratulations for what you accomplished last week in getting started. The second week of this workshop will be focused on uh, getting things underway. I appreciate that you went ahead, you made the commitment to yourself and your commitment promise. You reviewed your health questionnaire to find out where am I now? What am I going to be doing in the next three months? What do I see myself doing in terms of my progress? What can I envision for myself? And how do I really feel about my own body now? So this first week of really preparing the space, going into the kitchen, cleaning out the cupboards and the fridge, putting in foods that will be sustaining for you, and even looking at the equipment that you need for this next 12 weeks so that food preparation is done with ease and simplicity. All of these things are a wonderful step forward to really uh, guarantee your success with this 12-week uh, health seminar. So I appreciate your focus on the process, which is what the wrap-up of every week is really focused on. You went ahead and you asked someone to be a health buddy, and now the wrap-up of every week is this pausing and saying, what have I done this week? Did I have any new thoughts? What experiences did I have? And really taking the moment to write those down. So really congratulations on completing week one. Now to week two, uh, getting things underway. We really want to look at the principles of a whole foods, plant-based diet. What is really behind all of that? We want to look at the four kitchen guardians, which I consider the guardians for health. There are many foods that are medicinal. These four I'm going to present to you are really to lay a basis for how to bring in some lovely taste into your dishes and also how to give some spice, some zest, and even some wonderful tonic to your foods in the bitters. And those four guardians are really there not only for the flavor, but also for the medicinal qualities. These really help you go through uh, the process we're going to be doing in the 12 weeks. And then really to look at what is helpful to my blood? How can I circulate my blood? Blood just circulation just means moving the blood through heat or exercise. So I just want to look at some ways that we can move the blood um, from the inside. What we really can say of the principles we're looking at is that food is our medicine. Let thy food be thy medicine is what Hippocrates quotes many, many centuries ago. There was a simplicity to life that had to do with really just going into nature and receiving what you had been able to grow there. And yes, there were some animals that were sometimes involved with food preparation and nu the nutrition for, the, for a community of people, but primarily it was, you know, bring something in for the soup, the salad, the uh, large dish of vegetables and, and starches. So let your food be your medicine. In this 12 weeks, this principle will guide you. And this association between alkalinity and alkalinity being the basis of really good health in the body, and alkalinity is, has been associated in studies with the acceleration of the metabolism, the metabolizing of food. So this connection is that most of the fruits and vegetables create an alkalinity in our blood. And then the food really should be giving us our energy and not draining us. So foods that are very, very simple are easily able to be digested, assimilated, and they give us the energy instead of having to be worked through. A lot of work in the intestines, a lot of work with the organs. This ease of assimilation uh, helps with digestion and energy. So we really want to be looking at the food as our way of, of regaining our vitality. So there we have the basic principles of whole foods diet. I want to say there's a special significance to four plants in particular that I'd like to share with you. Uh, I call them the four kitchen guardians. They're really four guardians to our health. And although there are many medicinal plants, these four are very, very helpful to 
giving extra flavor and taste to the dishes that you prepare, as well as having tremendous medicinal qualities. These kinds of qualities in these plants are, and these food substances, are really the kinds of medicinal things that have been used for centuries. So there's a very particular significance to sharing those things with you at this point. It's possible to build a younger feeling body. Very, very possible to do that in a, in a relatively short amount of time. And people who exercise keep themselves in a continual regeneration. So that regeneration is happening because they exercise and things break down in that process for which really good nutrition is essential. So when we do this continual rebuilding that goes with along with exercising, it's very, very important that we are eating nutrient-rich foods. So I just want to say that when you bring in certain foods that have certain properties, these properties are very, very strong. If you put a hot pepper even to your lips or in your mouth, in your food, you have flush, a flush come to the face, a hot a heat in your in your throat, in uh, some other part of your body. These are really creating a dynamic in the body that helps move along congestion. And all diseases are stemming from congestion and excess. Excess of what we're putting into the body that it cannot process properly and congestion where we have no real movement of the blood and the lymph, the movement of the fluids through the body so that the organs can do what they need to do. So I appreciate that you regard these things with, of some significance here in these next 12 weeks. They will start to bring a real movement into the inside of the body and those things, these four guardians and this element of using the jalapeno peppers is really to bring this movement is what life is all about. Life is about movement. Life is about moving things through, opening up, um, growing. All of these things are part of our, our healing process. So to wrap up the week, I recommend one more time that you really regard what has your life experience been this week? Write them down. Uh, those things will pass quickly away into new experiences. It will be delightful to see them in your own handwriting and be able to regard what happened to me in this process and to compare. And really take a moment because these are the things you'll be looking at later. So I look forward to uh, what this week will bring you. I am interested that you be in email contact with me with any of your experiences as we go along. For now, keep with the process and thank you so much for really giving this time to yourself for week two and getting things underway.